Hello, beautiful people. I'm so glad you guys were able to make it to our very first episode of the Balance Boss series. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Nicole, and on my channel, I work to bridge the gap between boss life and self-care, giving you the tools, resources, and everything in between that to make sure that you live a balanced life in your work in your relationships, in everything that you do, in making sure that you're working to infuse key mindset habits that will ultimately lead to the best version of you. That was a very dramatic intro, but ultimately I'm happy to be here, happy that you're here, and happy to kick off this first official episode of the series. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one, guys. I hope you're ready. So this first episode is going to be all about mindset routines. How are you infusing your daily habits, healthy habits into your morning routine throughout the day? How are you carrying them out? And I'm gonna show you guys some of my best practices when it comes to developing a key morning routine that has really skyrocketed my growth, changed my mindset overall, and helped me think about my life in another way, in a bigger way, in a more, man, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, her. I want to be her. I want to do all the things that my future self, my greater self would be doing. And it all starts now. It all starts with how you're starting your day, how you're fueling your body, how what what are you doing that's either holding you back or catapulting you forward? Like what are those key things? And so I'm going to be sure, sharing with you what I do in my daily routine and that is going to be how we're going to kick start, start this series and I'm so excited to share with you guys. This style is going to be different from the last style that I showed you guys as far as my mindset morning routine. It's going to be more so walking you through what I do and why I do them so I hope that you are ready to go on this journey of self-care, soul care, and just overall creating a better life for yourself and being excited about it. So let's dive in, shall we? Kickstarting my mindful morning routine. I'm typically up during the week around 5 a.m., but since it's the weekend, I allow myself to get some extra rest. I'm still up at around 8 a.m. because now my body is so used to waking up early and not sleeping in. The first thing I try to remember to do is to make my bed. Since I'm in a studio apartment, my space can get cluttered real fast. Doing this small action in the morning helps me to get my space in order for the day. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I typically only sleep on about one side of my bed. So it's so easy for me to make it in the morning because I'm really only making one side. <laughs> Comment below if you guys are the same way or if you like to sleep in the middle. After I make my bed, I head to the kitchen to prepare a tea kettle and switch on the coffee machine. I've been retraining my mind to think water first before coffee in the mornings, but I won't lie, sometimes it's hard. I've learned that my body reacts better to warm lemon water in the mornings, so that's what I tend to gravitate towards. While those two things are going, I head to the bathroom to brush my teeth and wash my face. It always feels good to do a little refreshing right in the mornings before you can really get into your day. I'm back in the kitchen making my morning coffee and lemon water. I absolutely love drinking coffee in the mornings, but I understand the importance of having your water first. When you have warm lemon water first, it helps with your digestive system and it also helps to wake you up in the mornings too. Mm -hmm. 
After I have both of my beverages, I enter my living room for the first official part of my morning, which is all about mind. I tend to think about my morning routines in three phases. How can I fuel my mind, my body, and my spirit? Before, I was time blocking my morning routines down to the minute and it just made me feel so overwhelmed whenever I would not have enough time to do something or I would go over my time. Thinking about my morning routines and phases helps me to understand what buckets I need to pour into in order for me to have a productive day. I love watching sermons or inspirational videos to kickstart my day. Sermons that I gravitate towards are usually from Joel Osteen, Sarah Jakes Roberts, or Pastor Mike Todd. Today, I'm in a Joel Osteen mood, so I turn to one of the latest sermons, pull out my journal to take notes, and get ready to receive the Word of God. Giving God my time first during the day really helps to set the premise. I tend to feel more grounded and open-minded afterwards. The sermons typically last around 30 minutes, so after it's done, I wrap up my notes, reach for my current book, which is How to Get Shit Done by Aaron Falconer, and start reading. Creating time to learn more is huge on my list this year. My goal is to read 30 books and I've already completed four. Fueling your mind with knowledge should be a constant process. You should always be reading and learning more about how you can either perfect the skill set or even just become the best version of yourself. After I read my chapter, I usually feel more ready to dive into my morning pages. Some questions that I've been asking myself each morning are, what's bothering you? How can you continue to pour into yourself today? And what would make today great? Asking myself these prompts really helps my mind get to flowing and helps me to release any troubles that I had yesterday and not bring them into today. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about my mindful morning routines and the reasons why I do what I do. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you typically like to do in the mornings to help you get grounded.